What kind of farming did your father do? Well, of course, we had the cattle and, and pigs and, and uh, chickens, but uh, uh, he had uh, horses and, uh, and the two equipment, horses, the plow and the binder and one-way disc and things like that. And uh, so he grew wheat and barley and oats. And, and one year he uh, did flax, but that was before I was born. And that was the good crop of flax that he went back to England, because he came out in 99, 1899, that he went back to England and married mum. And how were those planted? Well, he had a, had a cedar, you know, where the horses would pull the machinery. Yeah. And of course, the ground had to be plowed and one way disked first, and then the, you know, seeding. Yeah. And then uh, uh, in due time, there was the uh, a binder to cut it all down. I remember one time I went out to the field because Dad was cutting the grain with the binder, and I was going to go out to, to where Dad was. And I was pretty so short that I wasn't, you couldn't see me above the grain. And my sister came out to, and got me. And it, it was such a blessing, you know, and I think of Dad coming down there and I was just standing there, you know, he would never have seen me. So anyway, she had a little switch and boy, she <laughs> made me go the right direction. Do you remember harvest at all? Oh yes, when the gangs uh, used to come when we before we had the combine, um, the uh, thrashing gangs, and uh, I think I have one picture here of the gang. You would have to have a meal for all these men, that, yeah. you know, and uh, they wouldn't stay overnight though, because they were all local farmers, and they'd go home at night, come back in the morning, and but you couldn't get started too early in the morning because you can't. Uh, do it until the dew is off everything. Oh, yeah. So right. you could work late in at night because of the light, uh, sunlight. But uh, the mornings, you had it was a little later. So that was made it convenient for the people to get there. And and what kind of a meal would they be fed? Well, we'd have to have a pretty big meal. You know, lot potatoes and carrots and and uh, probably another vegetable and uh, meat. You had to have a pretty hearty meal when they were working so hard. And you had practically the same meal for the noon and for supper, because they had to have two big meals. And of course, during the afternoon, you had to take a lunch out to the field uh, of sandwiches. And, and uh, uh, usually, I think it was tea we took. I can't just remember the drink. Do you remember what the animals were fed? Well, uh, because uh, they had their own uh, uh, straw from the, uh, you know, and uh, oats, I remember, they had, and, uh, well, of course, the pigs, it got all the, the slops from the house, you know, you could feed pigs that way at that time, you couldn't uh, now, of course. Uh, I, haven't, I can't remember the least about the sheep because the sheep, I was quite a bit younger then. I remember dad shearing the sheep, but I can't remember. And I remember uh, herding them to the river to, for, for their water. And you had to herd them to walk through the river so they got cleaned off before he, uh, he sheared them. And then by the time they, the river was about a quarter of a mile away, I guess. And by the time they got back, they'd be dry enough for him to shear. I remember one summer, um, the uh, there wasn't much grass for the cattle in the in the pasture, so they were pasturing them out on the roadway, and and uh, I had to sit out there and read a book, and every time the cows started to wander away, I would have to bring them back. Yeah, that that was uh, quite a summer. I got a kick out of it.